What is epistemology? Epistemology comes from the two Greek words, epistemi, which means knowledge, and logos, which means study. Hence, etymologically speaking, epistemology means, study of knowledge. Formally defined, epistemology is that branch of philosophy, which deals with the theory, nature, scope, and basis of knowledge, or, which investigates the possibility of knowledge itself. Specifically, it analyzes the nature of knowledge and how it relates to similar notions, such as truth, belief, and justification. Some of the questions in epistemology are 1. What is knowledge? 2. What do we know? 3. How is knowledge acquired? 4. What are the structures and limits of knowledge? And 5. What makes justified belief justified? It is important to note that the French philosophical tradition makes a distinction between theory of knowledge and epistemology and defines the latter as the critical study of the principles, hypotheses, and findings of the various sciences. Defined in that sense, therefore, epistemology seeks to determine the logic, origins, value, and objective import of the sciences. Gaston Bachelard and Georges Canguilhem are the great representatives of the French school of historical epistemology, which is a major influence on Michel Foucault. It is also important to note that epistemology can take many different forms, ranging from Plato's doctrine of forms, which distinguishes between the unchanging form which is the object of thought, the copy of that form that is perceived by the senses, and the cora, or receptacle that is the nurse of all change, to the Cartesian cogito, which founds the certainty of knowledge by using a process of methodical doubt to conclude, I am thinking, therefore I am. The epistemology of empiricism, in contrast, derives all knowledge from the input of the senses, and views the mind as a blank sheet, or tabula rasa, on which knowledge is imprinted. Epistemology has traditionally been seen as sitting in judgment on other areas of philosophy, or functioning as a court of appeal which rules on what can and cannot be known. Here, epistemology functions, that is, acts, as first philosophy. It still plays that role with respect to the history of the sciences in the French tradition. Elsewhere, its traditional function has been redefined, or challenged. The tradition of analytic philosophy tends to displace the issue of epistemology towards the analysis of the nature, coherence, and meaning of propositions. Critics of foundationalism, like Richard Rorty, doubt the very possibility of a correspondence between knowledge and its objects, and question the need for any theory of knowledge, whilst Gianni Vattimo and Hayden White propose the hermeneutics of rhetoric as an alternative to the cast-iron certainties of epistemology. Feminist epistemology can take the form of the critiques of phallocentrism and phallogocentrism put forward by Hélène Sixou, Julia Christopher, and Lucy Rigore, who attempt to map a specifically feminine imaginary, and a new gender economy that can speak of and to women's needs and desires. It can also take the form of an attempt to gender knowledge by challenging the supposed objectivity and value neutrality of knowledge, and especially science, and demonstrating that knowledge is always socially constructed, and, therefore, influenced by the social construction of gender. Such gender critiques have been particularly significant in the social, biological, medical sciences, and often take as one of their starting points Foucault's thesis that any form of epistemology is also a regime of power.